G'day, here you go. Welcome back for some more Green and Gold. Radio, this week we're looking at getting the tanks and the trampoline off the deck. So uh, it's early spring, you know, we're in the first two weeks of spring and the ground temperatures are coming up. So I just ran around with my probe here and they came out at about 12, 13 degrees uh, soil temperature. So it is on the rise, which is good, but uh, still a little bit early for fertilizer and reno yet. So um, yeah, what I'm looking to do is clear off everything off the lawn and start getting some air and some warmth down onto the ground. That way um, we can wake up the lawn a little bit better and get rolling. So yeah, there is undoubtedly some dead spots under these tanks, eh? <laughs> so uh, I need to remedy that come reno time. What I'll probably do is just spread some scarifyings up this top end here and just help it recover a little bit better. So that's the plan. Look, you know, the damage here isn't too bad, eh? Like, I'm not seeing anything that's unrecoverable. We haven't given it a hit with glyphosate, so she'll come back, mate, eh? <laughs> it's quite good, you man, so. Yeah. Rightio, let's get stuck in, eh? <laughs> Rightio, so before I just go wheel and tanks in here, I might do a little bit more preparation. So, it is a little bit bony in areas, and the last thing I want is one of those gibbers to go <laughs> straight up through the bottom of my tank and I've got a hole, so. What I'll be doing is uh, giving the surface a spray with the water and giving it another hit with the plate. What that's going to do is help push the big stones down, bring up the fines and uh, sort of slurry up the surface a bit. That way you haven't got any, like, anything that's sort of concerning the base of the tank uh, and, and causing a puncture. So I'm pretty happy with how level it is. Um, if you're sort of unhappy with how level it is, you might want to consider using like a paving sand or something like that. You don't want much, eh? We're sort of only talking 10 mil max, just enough to give it a nice skim coat, nice and flat, probably some dolomite sand, and uh, and give that a hit as well. But I'm pretty happy with how flat it is. It's just, uh, yeah, I just want to just give it one more pass just to make sure she's sweet. Right, yeah, let's do it. As you can see, we've really transformed the surface of this pad here. So the reason why I wasn't concerned about uh, adding a little bit more water to the surface and slurrying it up is was like last week we'd already achieved compaction. So what we're really doing is just working a little bit more fines to the surface and uh, and tightening up the top. So yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Radio, let's roll our first tank, you know. Holy guacamole, Batman, that was harder than it needed to be, eh? So, oh. mate, post-match review, we have made a mess. <laughs> Houston, we have an issue. So, it wouldn't have been too bad, eh, had I have not um, been so silly. So, uh, I basically put in those that protection over there in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, that's there to stop, like, rubble and stuff falling in on the, uh, on the pipe and that. And I decided to try and lift over that, which was a big mistake because it's just chewed up the whole base and and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna get the plate compactor out again, tighten this back up again, because uh, as you can see, it's like littered with stones and that. And then uh, what I might do is just relocate those smaller ones down here and do the same thing. So yeah, that was stupid, man. Anyway, we're, uh, we're in now. So pretty happy with how it's sitting there. Um, it seems pretty level with the shed as well and all of that. There is one issue that I've got as well is I've put my, um, I put my rural piping on the wrong side of my standpipe. So, um, yeah, whoops. <laughs> anyway, that's all right, we can get around it with a few elbows, but just made it a little bit harder for myself, that's all. Anyway, that's what I want.
Rightio, man. I've got to get back to the gym. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> anyway, mate, I've got this tank into position a whole lot easier than the other one. So, yep, it pays to think ahead a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you might notice this hurdy gurdy here hasn't got an overflow. So, I'm just going to check the shed and see if I've got anything there. Otherwise, I might have to make a trip down to the irrigation pumps and more. So, what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit of a stock take on what I need to actually join all this up. Head off and go and pick up a few things because. It's 12 o'clock at the moment and they close at 1, so I want to get that, uh, want to get that sorted, so I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, so I might have found a solution to my little tank conundrum. So uh, what I've done is actually just rotated the tank 90 degrees. That means um, I've still got my uh, overflow point lining up with this, and the taps around the other side sort of line up. That does negate the need for a further three elbows at this joint here, so... I could probably get away with some T-pieces and a few elbows and just sort of get it together, but essentially that, that causes this one to be redundant. So I'm going to try and uh, seal that off a little bit later. Uh, probably not today because I haven't got the parts for it. So uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to try and get around that. <laughs> Radio, let's roll on, eh? Alrighty, we're making headway on this project. So I wanted to get in the, the tank uh, outlets first because I wanted to make sure the tanks were roughly in the right spot, which is, uh, they've landed like spot on so pretty happy with that now i'm going to go through and start hooking up the uh the green line so that's going to help maintain equilibrium between the tanks so go through hook all them up and then uh bring in the last tank and we're almost done man you'll be ready Things are not quite going according to plan. That's all right, you know, we just keep on keeping on, you know, just keep grinding. So, I'm gonna show you a trick here. Long time viewers of the channel would have already seen this trick, but uh, basically I wanna reuse this length of pipe. I can't sacrifice any more length off it, but this has been glued in here where I've sawn it off, and I wanna reuse this, like this junction. So what I'm gonna do, put a bit of this glue inside here, and I'm gonna be generous with it. If you are doing this, don't do it in a fire band season. So what we're going to do is just burn that. Let that get nice and hot. What that's going to do is make the plastic and the glue on the inside of that all nice and malleable. And I should be able to work it out with a set of pliers. Now, you might have to do this two or three times, eh? So, um, I'm estimating I'm going to have to do this at least two or three times. Let's give it a whirl, eh? Look at that, all gone. So, uh, did a good job of melting all that glue. Um, so now, I'll just glue the next bit in and roll on. So, yesterday didn't quite go according to plan. <laughs> That's all right, man, like, you know, these things happen. So I reckon it's gonna be about a $200 mistake. Well, it's either $200 or dig it up again, so. Yep, nah, 200 bucks is okay by me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I also need to go and get a new tank outlet. So the one I used yesterday, because I've rotated the tank 90 degrees, it's in the wrong position. So I need to go and get another one. Uh, and uh, also, just off camera, I sort of, uh, just re-tightened up the surface here. So um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is just wheel in my new tank, uh, sorry, my last tank rather. Gonna wheel that in and measure up, make sure I've got all the parts that I need. 
and quickly duck off to the big green shed because today's Sunday and uh, my usual uh, irrigation supply shop is closed. So I want to get this polished and knocked off today so I can uh, sit back and enjoy the rest of the weekend. All right, let's keep going.